Alright guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, I'm going to be fixing my Traxxas slash 4x4. Basically what happened is I tried to do a video out on uh, this public course that I have uh, in Longmont. It's not mine, but I go there occasionally. Uh, I was going to go shoot a video. And after like two or three jumps, the steering servo just died. There was no gear stripping, nothing like that. It just died. So, yeah, today I'm going to be removing the old uh, stock servo and putting in the new steering servo that I got. And I make a couple of rookie mistakes, such as uh, the thing that I'm doing right now, which is actually uh, removing the top of the steering servo instead of removing it from the chassis. So I take a little while to do this, so I'll just put on some music and I'll be back in just a second.
Alright guys, I'm back. So I've gotten the top off and I've removed the screws that are holding it to the chassis. And why is it not going off? Uh yeah, I guess something's still holding it on. That's strange. I guess I'll flip it over and check and see what's holding it on. I've got to figure out how to hold the camera and flip it. With the remote and all that. Let's see. Yeah, holding the camera and like adjusting the light and stuff one-handed and trying to film. It's just me, it's kind of tricky. Ah, there we go. Still have the steering arm attached to the bottom. That's what it is. Alright, well, I will remove that real quick. Once I get the camera good, there we go. I can start removing it. Probably should have kept it on and did this first. That would have been a lot easier. But, yeah, it is what it is. Right. In there. Alright, so now I've got it completely off. There's the bottom of the steering servo. And then here is the top part. Alright, so the next step is to take off the servo cover, the watertight servo cover. You can see the blue uh, seal. That's what makes it watertight, I believe. And then I will disconnect the steering servo wire. Try and keep the seal on too. Okay, so I have removed the steering servo uh, wire, I believe. I can't tell. Yeah, I did. You can see it briefly there. And now what I have to do is take off uh, the second plastic cover that you can't really see from how shaky the camera is. Why bad on that? Alright. Back with this. And I'm plugging in the new steering servo just to make sure that it works. Plug the car in so I can turn it on. I watch tons of videos of people uh, plugging these things in one handed. It's much more difficult than I imagined it would be. Alright, now I can turn on the remote and the ESC, which is on. The SC and the receiver, or I mean the servo. We can test and see if it actually works. Alright, let's see. Or, yes it will. There we go.
So I managed to take the right cord out and then to figure out how to take this cord out because this is from the old steering servo which I don't need anymore. I suppose I could just cut it. I think I could just cut it. Can I cut it? I think I can just cut it. Uh, I mean, let's see here. There we go. Like this. You can see where all of the uh, cords are routed. There's not really a way, it's just a solid plastic chassis. Um, oh. And then. Yeah, I think we can just cut it. We could probably just cut it. I'm not really sure. I don't have too much experience. But, it seems okay. Yeah! Alright, now we have to open this other cover that has uh, access to like where the wires are entering the servo box. So we'll just open that. You can see that it's pretty dirty. I didn't have a chance to clean it off yet. But I will. I'll oil and lubricate every, like all the joints and shocks and stuff like that. Alright, there's the first screw. Almost. And that should be enough. Yep, there it goes. Just screw off the end. And then, now for the second screw. Let's adjust the light, of course. Sorry, got my hand in the way there. Alright, nearly got second screw off. see where all the wires are going in. Sorry, I'm trying to do something real quick. The wires are kind of in the way. Yeah, there it is. You can see that the wires are, uh, they run underneath the chassis, so a small area. Now I'm trying to get the correct wire out. I have succeeded in doing. Right out.
No. That's out. Alright guys, here we are. I've got uh everything all taken out. I got the wire out as you can see. There's an empty space right there. And then all I've gotta do is put this back in and then put a couple of these uh seal things back. You can see it right there. Uh and then I've got the new steering servo right here. It's another Traxxas. Uh, let's see. What does it say? It says... Hold on. Get it in focus. Alright, it's a Traxxas. Waterproof. 2075X. Metal geared. Uh, steering servo. Servo. Um, yeah, looks pretty nice. Relatively cheap. Like Fifty something dollars. Fifty four, something like that. Not bad. But let's see how I can start. Oh, <laughs> I had to use some relatively violent means to uh, remove of the previous wire. Put that in focus. I accidentally shredded it in the process of getting it out. So I had to pull it uh, like right through here. So, as you can imagine, that took some work to get in there and do it. But I did. So, yeah, let's get to work. Right, first things first. Let's see, what should I do? I'll take this. And I don't actually... know if... Hmm. This is gonna take... Some thinking, because... Like, you have to wire it, um, let's see, readjust the light, you have to wire it in these places right there, it has to come underneath, I guess, or, hold on, could I just put it Huh, this is going to be interesting. So I'm not exactly sure how I should be wiring this. So, I guess I'll figure that out. There's my dog right there. It's kind of dark. Illumination. So when I went to the hobby store, he said that I should, so yeah, as as you uh, may know or may not know, I am pretty new to this hobby, so I don't really know all the ins and outs of stuff. So he told me that I should have the car on, uh, and then this uh, metal bar right here that you can kind of see, right there, to have that straight, uh, and then to also have the steering trim straight style right here, so you can see where it's supposed to be, and then I'll try and turn it a little bit, okay, there we go, so that's straight that back there. Now, all I've got to do 
is put it back in. Alright, so I'm gonna uh, go off camera for a second here and kind of figure out how I want to thread it through uh, to there. Or if I don't want to do that, and maybe I'll try and cut a hole in the cover so I can just run it on top. So, yeah, I gotta figure that out. I'll be right back. So, back here, I've got the screws that I need right here. Uh, and I'll be using those to hold this in. Let's see. one right now. Let's see. Gotta line it up. Make sure it's all even. And then the camera fell, of course. I don't have anything to prop it up with. Let's see, that'll hold for a little bit. even okay that's probably okay okay now I'm probably gonna switch over to a time lapse so that this doesn't uh, take as long for everyone else here guys I'm back and I've installed the servo now so that's in uh, I don't have to do too much with that right now right now I'm just trying to get this threaded through like it was last time let's see This might be a two-handed job. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright guys, after further examination of the situation, I've figured out that uh, this can't actually go under here. Uh, I tried to shove this part down, but it's just its too difficult to get it uh, all the way through there. So I just left the wire kind of hanging out. Maybe I'll coil it up and do something about it, but for now, I think this is okay. So basically all I have to do now is flip the car over my limited amount of space without sending multiple things like that. Here we go. Now all I have to do is screw this thing in right here. Let's see. Yeah, now I just have to screw that in right there and make sure the arm is straight, I think. Because then, yeah, 
You want to make sure the arm is straight, like so. Like, pull it out, stick it in. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I take that out. Okay. Yep, there we go. And then I also have to make sure that the wheels are straight. Well, I mean... Okay, so... Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go off camera and then adjust this. We'll be right back. Alright guys, I have turned the car on now. Um, oh, sorry. Restart. Alright guys, I've turned the car on now. Uh, just like the guy said. So there we go, and now I will start to screw this part in. And then we shall see if it works. And it should work, but you never know. it in nice and tight. Hmm. Maybe I didn't Oh. Yeah, I see the problem. I forgot to do that last night. Loosen this real quick. Forgot to uh forgot to plug it in to the servo. And go. Okay, so the place that I'm currently at right now is I'm kind of stuck with getting it in. So it won't go any farther. I don't really know like how to get it in. I don't want to break this piece either. I can't really tell if there's a place to like get it in. That's where I have to put it. But yeah. I'm gonna do another cut here and I'll figure out how to put it back in. All right guys, I have got the car back on and I've figured out how to thread the piece through and I'm currently screwing the steering servo in. Brand new. Let's see if it works. It's only 
turning in one direction. Uh, you can see it's the same. Turn it that way. Still turning that direction. Okay, so I have to figure out how to center it so that it uh, varies in the directions in the turn. First, I have to find the right X wrench thingy. figure out how to do this. So if I hold this here and hmm, okay, I'm gonna have to do some more tinkering uh, with the car off and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've watched a video on how to do this, and I discovered that underneath the battery, if you take it out, there's a place uh, where the wires run through. I thought it, that it wasn't accessible at all, so now I can actually put uh, that wire underneath. I still need two hands for it, though, so I'll have to cut the video right here. You can see I'm having some trouble trying to put it in. But now I do know that it's doable, which is nice. It doesn't have to be just floating in the car. So now it can be slightly more contained, which is good. All right, now that I've got that done, I can uh, start screwing the steering servo in. Uh, I went through a lot of trial and error on this one because it wasn't centering for some reason, no matter what I did, it didn't really matter. Um, that was slightly frustrating. So I did this like 10 times or so, fiddling around with uh, the steering servo and trying to figure out how to center it, and I couldn't do it. And then, of course, in my frustration, I managed to pop the spring out of the car. So, yeah, you can see that white piece, uh, the white circular piece where the steering arm is that's connected to the steering servo. That white piece has got a spring inside of it, and... For some reason, while I was screwing it in, the spring managed to pop out. And the spring is like one of the tightest things. Like, it's so hard to compress. I tried so many things, and nothing could do it. So, I'm probably just going to have to get a new uh, part for that. It should cost like five bucks or so. So, that's not too bad. And I'll probably ask some... Uh, some person at the hobby shop to center this because I cannot figure out how to do it. It's a very strange problem, but I cannot figure out how to do it. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, maybe share it to someone else that you know. Uh, thanks so much for watching. See you later.